But today there are better ways of doing things, believe me. The books I recommend, The Tyranny of Words, Language and Thought and Action, Semantics, General Semantics by Korzybski, called Science and Sanity. These are the books. If you if you got a good memory, good. If you don't, write it down. Tyranny of words. Well, there, we have a book list on our website. It's all there under the free downloads. They're also on the Zeitgeist Movement site. And if you're really interested in th phenomena, the book is called Unusual Phenomena. That means there were skin diseases that people had years ago that were fluorescent, and the whole top of the head would glow, and they thought they were saints. The ignorant people. There are many fluorescent bacteria that cause skin disease. Sometimes it happens in the ocean when the waves break, it's fluorescent. If you run along the beach, you leave fluorescent footprints. When the guy has scalp disease, they thought he was the same because they had a halo around his head. In other words, many ignorant people still prevail in religion. It isn't religion that's bad, you know. Uh, there were many people in the world that were very bright, like Larry King. He said once said to me, Jock, what do you think of Christianity? I said, it's a wonderful idea. When are they putting it into practice? <laughs> so I'll just take three more questions. Good afternoon, my name is Elena, I'm an engineer. Uh, I'm studying the Venus Project for the last five years, so I know everything about it. Uh, my question is, uh, if I'm a best friend of uh, the director of IEEE, International European Engineering, um, how can you sell me this? How can you convince me to work for you? Because I'm fighting with these stubborn people for the last five years, and I have no idea how to convince them to work for this, to explore this. She wants to know how to get engineers to support this. Engineers will never support this until they're thrown out of work. Only when people lose their homes, their jobs, do they give a damn about anything. Otherwise, they really don't care. But Unfortunately, we... I'm not wishing this, but people have to lose their jobs, their homes, and confidence in the people they elected to political office. Then they're ready for something new. I don't know what propelled you guys to come here. Maybe you saw the Zeitgeist film or something. But engineers and successful people in this system like to keep things the way they are. But those who have done a little bit more reading and have had a little bit more exposure, we have hundreds and th thousands of people, professionals. We have a professional database of engineers, architects, you know, the rocket scientists who have signed up on our database who want to help us when we're, we're ready to do the first so city or anything. So basically, the Venus, to work for Venus Project is a hobby, right? Because I have to work during the day for IEEE, and at night, well, as a hobby, I can work for you because I we're, need money, we're all, right? We're all prostitutes in this system. <laughs> <laughs> we have to make money to survive. But there, there are hundreds and hundreds of people who are volunteering and working with us. We have a, uh, the Venus Project Design Team website, thevenusprojectdesign.com, which unfortunately right now has been hacked into, so it's down for a little while. But um, they are organizing animators, and animators are volunteering, hundreds of them, to do, Jacques has thousands of designs that span the gamut all through society, and they're animating them right now. So, and, and CAD people are drawing them. So there are different people who are volunteering at this time to do different things. So uh, if I already explored more or less Europe from this point of renewable energy point of view, what can I do to be a volunteer and to join you in this engineer team? Well, sign up on the database right now, you know, the first thing, because um, we're not building right now, but we're looking for funding and we're looking for help exactly. in that direction, whether it's funding or resources. But there will be a time when we need engineers. And I can use the website to get in this database? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Wait, there's a lot more. <laughs> Um, 
Is this working? Oh. Yes. Uh, my question is very direct. Um, do you think that the resource-based economy can be sustainable if the problems of overpopulation continues? Uh, problems of overpopulation will produce serious problems in the world. If, uh, if the Earth can support three billion people, if you go ahead to six billion people, there's going to be malnutrition, diseases, problems, invasion of one territory that has water. So you must maintain the population, not in accordance with what Fresco wants, but the carrying capacity of the Earth's resources. Anybody that doesn't understand that? If you have so much resources, you can only support so many people unless you invent a new resource. So we must maintain a population that the Earth can support. And we'd if have we... to do that essentially through education. But I think when the resource-based economy comes about, depending on how much work you people do to make it come about, because we can't make it happen alone, then there'll be so many options that I think people will be less interested in just having kids. Today, women are given a role to have a husband and have children, and not even taught how to raise them. It's the strangest thing, you know. We, it, we go to school for years to work on a jet engine. They don't let anybody touch a jet engine. They have to go to school for years. Yet children have much more connections and parts than a jet engine, and we don't get any training in that. So um, in, in the future, we think that when people have so many more options, they probably will not want children as much as they want today. Well, you're brought up to want children. Like that they, you know, Fresco would like free little kids to carry his name into the future. I don't have any such illusions. Kids are a pain in the ass. They say, <laughs> listen to me, they say the same thing. They can't say anything new. Six years old, I want a balloon. They can't say anything interesting. If you really love children, you spend your time with children before you had them. So when people have children, you have to wipe their behind, change their diapers, send them to school, and when they're 18 years old, they leave you anyway. So what, what the children, some guy comes up to me and says, I have six kids. I say, what are they for? <laughs> Just having six kids, try to make your kids smarter than you, better than you in every way. When they say, Dad, you're obsolete, you did a good job. Okay? In other words, just having children means nothing. Okay. I, I want to thank you for coming. When you leave here, if you do nothing, if you don't talk to people, nothing will happen. Thank you for coming.